Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and today we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting round from a company called Tom Bob Outdoors. This is their Quadrashock GPM 110 grain 300 blackout. It is a lead free hollow point projectile, so it's going to be really neat. Let's get to it. Now, Tom Bob Outdoor actually sent me this ammunition about a month or so ago to do some accuracy and reliability testing with it, and obviously today we're going to do the clear ballistics gel test with it, and I've been really impressed with it so far. It's actually surprisingly accurate. I'll do a little bit of an accuracy test here in just a bit to show you guys what I'm talking about, but this is also, again, a lead-free projectile, so if you live in a state that restricts hunting to lead-free bullets, uh, this would be perfect for that. It's also their quadrashock projectile, which means that from the hollow point, you actually have four leaves that spread out in different directions, and then you have the base that will continue on. So you have the initial wound cavity, or we should, depending on the results that we get here, the initial wound cavity, and then you have the base, which is supposed to continue on and give you that extra penetration. So in theory, it's a really good design. And again, the fact that it's lead-free allows you to be able to use it pretty much anywhere. Uh, 300 blackout, again, 110 grain, so it's moving pretty quick. And I like the fact that they kind of kept it on the light side. You want some of that speed for penetration. Now, as far as accuracy goes, like I was telling you before, this thing is ridiculously accurate. Here is my target. I have it zeroed for 25, 100 yards. So you can see right here at 25 yards, it's shooting a little bit low. But at that distance, 300 blackout, I'm able to put pretty much hole right on top of hole. So it's extremely accurate. Out to 100 yards, it's about one MOA. Uh, I was using a Wilson Combat 16-inch match grade barrel, so <laughs> I have uh, no doubt that that helped a little bit. But still, 300 blackout that's lead free at one MOA at 100 yards is still really good accuracy. Okay, so here's a look at the rifle that I've been using for all my testing. This is a rifle that I built myself from parts from MSRarms.com. Everything from the Wilson Combat Match Grade Barrel, the Phase 5 Handguard, the Fail Zero Bulk Carrier Group, all came from MSRarms.com. So check out the link in the description box for that. The rest that I'm going to be using today is a CTK Precision. I'll also put a, a link in the description box. And here is our setup. A brand new clear ballistics gel block. This block right here is 6 by 6 by 20 inches. So it should give us enough material to be able to test this out properly. 20 inches is pretty long. There's still a pretty good chance this is going to go through. 300 blackout just tends to go through ballistics gel uh, pretty easily. But again, this is a brand new block, so we'll be able to see everything. Uh, the great thing about this block is that it's 6x6. Six six. It gives us plenty of, of area to get that expansion. And then at 20 inches, even though it might go through, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Premier Body Armor plate, this extra plate that I have here. We're going to set it behind the ballistics gel block and hopefully catch anything if anything comes out and we'll see how much pressure it actually has. Okay, so we're gonna be taking our shot at the ballistics gel block at only about 15 feet away. So from this distance, we should be able to see the maximum amount of energy transferred into the gel block itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the footage here and you can see how much energy this has. 110 grain, 300 blackout. I mean, it lifted a 20 pound block and then knocked the body armor off the table. And the body armor was being held by a rock. You can see it behind it right there. And it just lifts everything off the table and knocks it back. So it was really impressive, the amount of kinetic energy that was transferred into the block. Uh, just really impressive. Now, we did have uh, a pretty good amount of expansion. The permanent wound cavity was about two and a quarter inches. That started about two and three quarters inches into the block. And it did exactly what it said it would do. You basically had the base projectile which went all the way through the ballistics gel block penetrated didn't do any damage to the plate because it's compressed copper so it just kind of turns into a powder when it hits a hard surface but still we get pretty rapid expansion as it enters the gel and then those little pieces that came off the hollow point did exactly what they were supposed to do and kind of went flying in each direction which made their own small uh, they're pretty tiny, but very small wound channels as they left the center projectile. So there was quite a bit of damage. Now here's something that's kind of interesting. I think I found a little piece that's all that's left of the base of the projectile. You can see this little piece. It was sitting at the back of the gel block. And after examining the gel block a little bit better, uh, I saw that they're basically none of the little flechettes that are sitting there, those little pieces that came off the hollow point, actually made it out of the gel block. So I believe that little piece is actually part of the the base portion that traveled all the way through the gel block and then bounced off the body armor and was sitting off the table right there. So really interesting stuff. It did a, a pretty good amount of damage. We also had a pretty good amount of penetration, maybe a little bit of over penetration depending on how you look at things, but still pretty cool for 300 blackout, 110 grain lead free ammunition. 
Definitely worth checking out. I'll put links in the description box. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.